we're gonna do this again we had a great video uh, it was sub five minutes the first time I've ever done that and we used uh, an action cam and the action cam has like shitty footage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear the weapon real quick here and show clear it's all clear right so here we go five minutes short um, we're gonna talk about the Canon TP9 Elite Subcompact um, so I have five mags and one of them was using the flat base plate which I can't stand using I can shoot with it but I wanted to kind of eliminate it as a, as a factor I shouldn't have to train around this um, so what I did was I went to Taylor Freelance and I bought a plus four aluminum black base plate base plate um, so on their website it's listed as $29.95 I had to pay $8.99 shipping yeah that's a lot taxes was a dollar and eighty cents so it added up to forty dollars and seventy four cents for this plus four um, yeah but I, I needed the base plate um, some of the other ones I looked at they were cheaper but they looked cheaper this looks really good so remember this is a plus four the magazine itself is a 10 rounder that I ground off the limiters there there's one and there's the other uh, when you grind them off you add plus two so this is essentially a 12 round mag with this four round base plate it'll accept 16 rounds so there was one in the chamber so I'm carrying with 17 so I want to cover some things real quick so where is my base pad that I had oh here it is so when when you're installing this uh, this plus four here you want to make sure that when you remove the flat OEM base plate that you remove the little plastic uh, part that's on the bottom of the spring because if you don't and you install it <coughs> install this on top of it you're gonna have a bitch of a time getting getting this off the next time you need it off whether it's you cleaning it or or if there's something wrong with the mag or or, or whatever right so uh, it took me in half an hour to get this thing off because of that so uh, again fair warning when you're installing this Taylor Freelance plus four or probably even any versions that you get from them you want to remove the plastic uh, uh, I guess retainer this is actually what helps it to lock in place so you don't really want that you don't need it um, another thing is what keeps this base plate in place is a, a hex uh, screw um, which means that you want to use thread locker on this so I have thread locker on it uh, you can see it because of me trying to get the the mag off to install it I mean the, the plate off to install it properly I kind of uh, there's some scrapes and gouges right there so what I'll do is I'll get a touch up pin and I'll I'll touch that up black right um, another thing is that I ran into was after I had this installed properly it would only accept 13 rounds so I think the spring either got bound up or I needed to stretch it out um, I want to think I want to say that it got bound up but anyways what I did was I took it apart again I pulled the spring out a bit and I put it back together and I had 16 rounds of JHP right here and that time it fit them all uh, so now I'm using I'm using frangible ammo uh, and we're we're using 16 plus 1 and so what we'll do is
And there you go. The gun is hot. Gonna put it in the uh, holster there. And we're good to go.